Okay, um, I'm here to show you tonight about some uh, some slideshows. Uh, using views, uh, views is a great tool um, to basically run queries and, and pull back your data however you want and stylize it and all that kind of fun stuff. So uh, slideshows are the next kind of step for photos, photographers, quick blog sites, you know. Um, I've got a couple on my, one or two on my daughter's side. Um, and to tell you, grandmas love it when they can look at the grandchildren and just stare at a slideshow for hours. They will do it. Um, so first off, I've got some pictures here. I've got a lot of pictures, great pictures, whatever pictures. Um, but I want to put them in a slideshow in something that can uh, that can just kind of rotate. Uh, give an example if I'm a photog photographer of my work or if I. I'm a, a parent of my child, or um, you know, you've got a million reasons why you want a slideshow. Slideshows are kind of cool sometimes, they're kind of a, just a neat little thing, and they're really easy to do. Uh, so, I'm going to go here to um, views. Um, or actually, I'll show you. Really, all you need um, two separate modules for this one. Um, we've got, uh, well, views obviously, because we're using views to create the slideshow, um, but then view slideshow is a separate module that includes uh, view slideshow single frame and thumbnail hover and I'm going to use single frame um, may play around with thumbnail hover later if I feel I like being adventurous but right now single frame is good um, so I'm just going to go site building well first off if you had not seen my other tutorial on using image cache go watch that one first um, image cache is a great great way to create photos the way you want you know you take a photo and it's a big photo you know it's gigantic it's not gonna look great in a in a, uh, in a slideshow when they only see like this much of your photo you know they need to see the whole thing so uh, I'm gonna add a preset we're gonna call this one 600 pixels because that's what this will be for me just I'm gonna create a uh, I'm going to scale it down to 600, hey, pixels, what do you know? And I'm also going to crop it for all the tall ones, because I don't, because I want to crop it. Um, actually, for this one, we're going we're to change the height, and that's what we'll do, um, to kind of make it so that the, the slideshow isn't off and the page isn't off. I'm going to set a height of 600, four, 400 pixels. So, got a height of 400 pixels, and I needed more. We'll go up to 600. We get a big, this big slideshow. Um, but this way, all my images will be uh, the the window won't have to move, and the pictures will at least be centered when I look at it. So there we go. That's a good size picture for a slideshow. Maybe a little big, but I don't care right now. Uh, so now I'm going to go. That was image cache. Um, I've got more stuff on it, or ask questions if you need it. Um, I'm going to create a new view. I'm going to add one. In my view, I'm going to call it slideshow. Slideshow Bob. All right. Um, the view type is obviously going to be a node because I'm pulling content from nodes that I've created. Um, you know, all those ones that that you've seen on how to create a gallery and all that kind of stuff. Go watch that. Now, if you want to pull stuff in for slideshows, this is it. So I'm going to filter my content, and really, because of, because of content I'm pulling, you don't have to. But um, just for sanity's sake, I'm going to filter by a type of picture, because that's all I want, is pictures. And I'm going to add my fields, and I really only need one field, two, if you want to create a, if you got titles for them or captions or whatever, but all I really want is this, format it, I'm going to say it's a, uh, not 400, it's the 600 pixel image, none. And you can obviously do link to no and all that kind of stuff, or if you've got light box or shadow box, I like shadow box, um, light box, shadow box, uh, thick box, all of that kind of stuff. Uncheck this guy right here. Group multiple values. Uncheck him. Don't need him. Because um, we want these things to be individuals. We don't want 60 pictures on that we've, that we've uploaded all to show up at once. Um, so there we go. I've got my fields. I've got my filters. Let me update that. But now I'm going to create my page. Um, in views. So add a display of a page, uh, title it, slideshow, 
that's just the name of the display, but we're going to go up here to the actual title and say uh, my awesome slideshow. Since it's all one display, we're just going to update the default. Uh, and by the point, you should get it now that this is a slideshow. Uh, the only thing I'm going to change, I'm going to change the style from unformatted. I'm actually going to override it um, to, hey, slideshow. There we go. Update it. Um, you got single frame and thumbnail hover. I'm going to go with single frame for right now. Um, you can do unordered list, ordered list, whatever. Timer delays. Um, I like the transitions to be a little longer. You know, that, that the transitions just that fade in, fade out. Um, timer delay of uh, five seconds is what's going on right now for how long each picture is going to last out there. Um, I'm not going to randomize it here. You can. Um, if you want to pause when, when they're hovering, you can, um, or pause on click. Uh, you can do both or either or, I guess. Uh, if you want controls for the slideshow, start, stop, previous, next. I don't want any of mine. I'm just going to let it go all the way through. And no pager and no image counter. Um, ah, what the heck, we'll put an image counter on, on the bottom. Um, Items per slide, one, you can, like I said, add multiples, or if you happen to group on accident, you're going to get multiples. But um, all I really want to fade, you can, I mean, there's tons of slide slides you can do, wipe, zoom, uncover, whatever. Um, fade's what I like, it looks nice and pretty and, and easy, and nothing extra. If there's stuff for in Explorer, yeah, try to get your people away from IE, but if you need to, there's some options for IE. There we go. So that's my big picture for my slideshow. And it's not going to go in. It's not going to go while it is in this uh, in the live preview. The live preview is only kind of a live preview. You don't get any. Well, it's only kind of a live preview. Trust me on that one. Uh, I'm going to set. I don't know if you saw that. I set a sort criteria to global random. The global random means it's all just going to randomize all the pictures, all that kind of stuff. I don't have any arguments. I don't need a relationship. I'm done. I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you that slideshow because we're done. I've got a view slideshow. There's my awesome slideshow, my title. And it's going to take those pictures and just scroll right through them in a random order. Um, you know, if you see a 3 of 10 and... 4 of 10. And this is what, what why image cache is so important because now I've got pictures of different sizes. Um, you know, because they come from my Tumblr, come from wherever. So I'm going to go ahead and edit my image cache as you can see how that works. So I'm going to edit this guy. I'm going to say 600 pixels, but really what I'm going to do is configure this and say, even though it says 600 pixels, I'm going to change it to 300 pixels. Make it a little bit smaller. But now they should all at least be somewhat the same size um, when they're going through it. So let's go back and edit this view. Oops, let's save our preset and let's flush it real quick too. I guess I don't need to edit the view then. Uh, flush it. Flush. Let's do my slideshow. There we go. Now, see, everything's just a little smaller. Um, what's my image cache set to? Set height 300. All right. So, kind of cool. Easy way to do a slideshow. Easy way to put it together. And we've kind of got this thing to go through. There's a bunch of other slideshow modules out there. Um, use whatever you want, but this one's a really easy one. Um, looks good enough and if you add image cache and make make all your pictures the same size or close to the same size or something like that then you can make it look really professional with a you know, background in it or, or a shadow or some sort of drop shadow um, I'm not up on styles these days but I like drop shadows um, just the, the hover background ones but anyways that's it that's it that's all there is to it um, you got a slideshow you got a view easy peasy hope you enjoyed let me know if you got any questions